What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Yala, your thrice weekly podcast where we talk about the hottest news and the hottest people with a touch of what, Terence? Good old humor, man. And this this is one of those episodes where I can tell you're super excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very excited, you're very super excited, because excited. <laughs> you've been following the, the the you've been following him on YouTube for so long. I've been stalking you've him, been watching for every episode, years, man, for years. <laughs> And you wanted to get close to that couch. And this is the closest <laughs> yeah, the you'll ever couch, be to the couch. The couch, uh, the couch. That's the, always the end goal, uh, the couch. Yeah. Um, and yeah, basically the individual we have in our audience right now, uh, in, our, in our studio, not yes, audience, yes. is someone who's been on YouTube for past few years, gone viral a few times with the shows he's created. Mm. And now, yeah, he's at the forefront almost of like, like relevant content on YouTube mm. for people that are not 10 years old. Yeah. yeah, I would say I would say that I would say that. Yeah. So, so we would like to welcome Mr. Dew or just Dew like Dew. Just Dew, man. Dew. Hi, yo, Dew. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Welcome, That's welcome. a good introduction, man. I oh, am, really? Uh, I am a. Uh, Flattered, bro. Wow, that, yeah. that's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah. Even the part about me stalking you for the past few years, yeah. <laughs> I am <laughs> flattered. Uh, so I say, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that, uh, I mean, I'm, yeah, like you said, I've been doing content for a very long time. Yeah. But I have never seen myself as like a influencer. Is yeah, it? influencer uh. or YouTuber or whatever it is. Mm. Yeah, because uh, I mean, I've been working in agencies for the what nine, ten years. Yeah. So. I've been like behind. I mean, I'm I'm the ones that are engaging mm. the influencers. Mm. Right. So like, I don't have this like air around me. Like, oh, mm. you you, yeah. you seem mm. quite diva, right? No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All I asked was for coffee, and you offered me coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and okay, I mean, I um, I don't want to be yeah. I, I don't want to just make it sound like Harish is the only one who is excited about this, like. mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm familiar with definitely familiar with your content. I've seen a lot of your videos and everything before. Thank you. Uh, and I I mean, you are kind of a Almost like a icon representing young Singaporeans, uh, somewhat, right? Wow. Okay, that, that's don't another you, don't you think? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think just by the fact of you know, uh, you know, like I've seen your videos where even the government gets you to talk to your teacher mm. and things like that. Yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. And you know that if the government chooses you for that kind of project, means they know you mean something to young people. Like. Yeah, for GRC already. Yeah, I've, I've never been asked to go and talk to my form teacher <laughs> yeah. all these years. Like, have you ever? No, no, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would so, you like to though? <laughs> Uh, oh, you scouting already? Yeah, scouting, <laughs> like, maybe, maybe. But, no, but, but, but it, it's quite. I think it's is quite uh interesting that almost almost ten years, right? At least ten years uh, you've been doing this. Close like twenty fifteen or sixteen, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. so in front of camera, you mean? Like? Yeah, in, in front, front of camera. camera. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, as I mean, I started working in an agency two thousand. 11 or 2012. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But but staying relevant for the amount of time, like to young people, mm. is damn hard. Lah. It is hard. And, 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 and you're not doing, you know, kids kind of content, like mm. 10 types of this, 10 types of that. Mm. You're doing like very adult, more adult kind of content. Lah, right? Yeah, I guess one of the, okay, I guess the beauty of it or how I look at it is that um, the show, because it's raw, I mean, it's like yeah. this podcast, right? It's yeah. never scripted. And uh, a lot of it is based on our thoughts and opinions. And a lot mm. of it is also based on our experience. Yeah. Mm, and yeah. the the people on the couch were picked carefully. Mm. Uh, or rather handpicked by me. And mm. uh, I just had to make sure that, okay, these people need to be my close friends. Mm. And because we are going to share things that some people don't know. And yeah. we choose what to share on camera like in that sense. Mm. Right? Mm. Yeah, so... Uh, once you have friends yeah. hanging, so basically it, 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 it looks and it sounds like friends hanging out because mm. it is, right? And then I feel like that's how we caught the audience because it's like, again, watching friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very yeah. close people just having a cup of tea yeah. or having drinks and then just talking rubbish, mm. right? And uh, we are like that real life also. We talk a lot about sex. Mm. If, for example, Jade just fucked someone, I mean, before she was married. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We're then, going there right away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah then she will be like, "Hey, guys, far, you know, over the weekend I just fucked this guy." And it's like, "This are like, like small talk, Like small when I ask Terence, "Oh, Terence, how was your weekend? What, uh, what do you do with uh, your family?" Uh, Yours yeah. is, "Hey, uh, Jade." Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> or, or like if something happens <laughs> over the weekend, and then when we meet, they were like, "Yeah, what the fuck? I fucked him," and he was like, "Blah blah." Okay. Like we have these types yeah, of conversations, yeah, so uh, it's like, yeah. you know, it'd be interesting if we bring it online. Yeah. Mm. And uh. See how the audience takes it. Yeah. And at that yeah, point yeah. of time, no one was doing it. Yeah. Everyone was doing scripted stuff. Yeah. And yeah. and like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When we started, it was called After Hours, right? Mm. right. Yep. It was yep. me, Eunice, Annabelle, um, John, and this girl called Audrey. Mm. And yes. all of us were colleagues. Yeah. Mm. And then um 
when we when we did it, well, it was very hard to find like the sweet spot, right? And then um, so at, at the point of time, that was the golden age of YouTube. You know, mm. People like Chen Hao, NOC. That was what year? 2016. Yeah, 2015, 2016. Uh, uh. Yeah, and reality content mm. was not in a way accepted yet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So views were like what? 30k, 40k. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we we stopped it and then like we redid it with Real Talk. Yeah. And uh, I, I guess Jade and Saffron helped us a lot because they were mm. already famous at that time. Yeah. And then uh, and we were all close friends. Yeah. So like boom. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So so right now the version of the show is called Just Saying. Yes. But there was after hours real talk and just saying. Yes. So it's also actually it was yeah. after hours first. Yeah. Real yeah. talk and but, just saying. But just for the benefit of our audience, uh, because yeah. uh, I'll totally admit our audience might be a bit older than what we're talking about, the demographic that, that watches YouTube mm. and all. Mm. Uh, maybe Harish. Yeah. You yeah. are very well versed in, in all of it. Funny how you yeah. chose you when you say old, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, same, same. He yeah. understands, he understands. No, because. But, but Harris, he is a historian in, in, in oh, wow. these sort of issues. Like. He, knows, he knows the chronological order of a lot of things. Like. Yeah, like, so it was uh, after hours, then mm. uh, real talk, and then just saying. Just saying. Right? Mm. So, so we just asking chronology in terms of what? You know, the like, Yalaba listener who doesn't have any context of what the show is and oh, okay. why, so, why you love it so much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so so when I when I mentioned just now that I was excited to talk to you, it's, yeah, the content piece I find interesting, but I'm I'm always keen to talk to people who have evolved, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and who can create new shows that can be culturally relevant and be consistent. Mm-hmm. So I think that was more about uh, less about the the sex lives of the people on the couch, but I'm like, hey, shit. <laughs> it's, it's okay, yeah, yeah, I mean that is a bonus. Yeah, oh, yeah it's interesting. Yeah, 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 it's but but it's it's also about the how it was built to what it is today, like. So mm. so yeah, I remember watching after hours. There was one episode with Fuzz. I think I watched. Yes. where it was just trying yes. to talk about edgier stuff. Yeah. yeah then yeah, yeah. real talk was. Uh, yeah, some of the current cast members for Just Saying, right? Mm. But it was always, I think by Real Talk, it was really focused on like more the topics that people don't talk about publicly. Yes. Which yes. is like sex and some of the taboo topics. Yeah. And now Just Saying has carried on that path, right? Mm. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, but you see, that's, that's one of the issues that I faced when I did Just Saying, right? Yeah. Because mm. there were already past two talk shows. And if I do another one, and that's just like, oh, what's new, right? Mm. Um, so I guess your question is how we evolved. Mm. Uh, so I guess after I was, okay, I mean, if I were to put a, a f- um, one factor to it is how we evolve is age, man. Mm. Mm-hmm. So if you watch us in 2015 and watch us now, yeah. Uh, yeah. again, because it's whatever we talk about is based on our own experience. Mm. As we get older, we experience more things. Mm. What we think, uh, sorry, how we think change. Mm. Right, how we think about relationships, how we think about our job, how we think about the government or whatever is just everything just changes. Yeah. yeah. So when we give our opinions, and if you were to compare it last time and now, mm. you will just see the, ma- the maturity yeah. in in, yep. in 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 us, la. Mm. Yeah. And when I started just saying, um, I'm the only guy, mm. and I feel like because, uh, real talk, there were two guys and two girls, right? Mm. And um. I mean, it's just a different, very small difference. Like, it's just like, okay, this is a more girl-centric show and I'm the only mouthpiece for, for men. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. I will bring more synergy between the girls and mm. kind of bring more girl audience towards us. Mm. And, uh, and that's because Real Talk has a lot of male audience mm. for obvious reasons. Mm. <laughs> Why, uh, dude? <laughs> uh, I think uh, because uh, Jade has more than personality. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> But she is an interesting personality. She really is. Yeah, Jay is, is, uh, is very interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I guess we all matured, man. Mm. Uh, and I feel like I also, I mean, my cast members also tell me like, mm. I've matured way more than what I am before. Mm. And I mean, the things I talk about now and the, the how I view things also, I mean, everything just changed. Huh? Mm. Yeah. So like, mm. I guess our audience also kind of grew with us. Yeah. You know, like at 15, sorry, at, uh, at 2015, they were watching, when they were watching us, I guess they were as young as us mm. and then now that they are as old as us they also think maybe it's similar to us so that like, mm, yeah relatable mm. you know so so one thing also that I'm always curious is you guys are, I think there's an appeal because you guys are very honest lah, right yes yes but I don't how how get, like okay your family like when they hear this mm. and all has there ever been a thing or like a uh, People you meet who know how much sex you've had and like how many people you've fucked and all. Yeah. Ah, okay. Is that, is that something that was 
was very natural for you or you're like it was it was oh. okay good question um uh, i mean for me personally family i was yeah. i'm never i'm not close to family for a long mm. time yeah okay, i'm only okay. very close to my my brothers mm. yeah so me and my brothers are our own family lah yeah. yeah so my brothers also in the industry in the entertainment industry just doing different things as a dj okay uh but my mom never knew so my mom and dad <laughs> never knew what the Ooh. fuck like i mean they knew we were working uh, they knew that every month we were giving them money but where's this money coming from they don't know lah mm. until like um i would say two years ago my mm. mom suddenly sent me a video of real talk <laughs> Just out, no message, no no text, no caption. Or yeah, she just, just sent the, the link first. Uh. And then five minutes later, she's like, what is this? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my show lah. Mm. Yeah, then, she, then I mean, because we are Muslims, right? And then he, she hit me with the Ostafrozi. <laughs> Why are you talking about this kind of things and this and that, right? Uh. Uh, but we, I mean, I'm, I'm close to my mom. Yeah. Uh, and we, we are very casual about things lah. Yeah, okay. so like, she in a way don't really care about what I do so as mm. for as long as I am okay and everything. Yeah, so it, it's not an embarrassing thing where when I go for family events, in which mm. I don't like only Harry right here. Mm. Uh I am like, oh my god, like do these people watch my show or whatever. Yeah, you know? <laughs> uh I mean my cousins do. My cousins know that I'm a, I do this types of shit. So yeah. like I don't think their parents know lah. Yeah, mm. so like with the stories that I share, I'm actually not embarrassed about mm. it mm. when I meet families or whatever. But I've always wondered. So your question was like, you know, when I meet people like, or especially if I meet um people that I want to date, mm. or for example, I'll, if I'm on a date, yeah. does the show spoil my character or mm. what people think of me? Mm. I was honestly scared of that. And um, my ex-girlfriend, mm. right? She mm. was very affected by the show mm. because I'm sharing about my past. In mm. which, right? The mean, you know, she's affected by what you share about her as an ex lah. Uh, you okay, in real talk, we, was, we were oh, still, still together. together. Okay, okay. Yeah, so when I share things about my past, things yeah. that she never heard before, uh, then she... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as men, you know, like yeah, we yeah, obviously... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we share what we want to yeah. share, lah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so... uh, That... She was affected by it, but mm. it, it wasn't to a point where, okay, she don't want to date me. You mm. know, so she, she yeah. just like, okay, I just don't want to watch this shit because it affects me. Mm. Yeah, so uh, she learned to accept you for whatever you are, la. Yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, and I, I'm not even like I mean the show again is is not scripted, so it's yeah. it's it's not lies. Yeah. It's yeah. really what we went through. So it's like either way, I will tell you if you ask me. Mm. It's just that this is on screen, la. And what she's affected about is probably because I'm on screen talking about these types of things, mm. and then I have a girlfriend, and people will think, "What would uh, your girlfriend think?" Mm. Yeah. You know. Mm. Yeah, so I get this. I get where she's coming from, and okay. I get the embarrassment. Okay, but uh, can't stop me from <laughs> making money, lah. You know. So, so that means. But what about the other cast members? Do you guys talk about this? Because, um, I mean, not say like to speak on their behalf, but I mm. can imagine now Jade has a kid, right? Yeah. Um, and is that something that that ever comes up about? Okay, because even for us right now, like um. Where when we do this podcast, we do we are super honest as well, like, And sometimes when we meet people who've been mm. listening to the podcast, they know us super well just because they listen to the podcast. And mm. I think a lot of people feel that with you. Yeah. But mm. now in the YouTube space, do you ever sometimes think, "Fuck, twenty years down the road, is this going to come back to haunt me? Does it yeah. ever occur to you?" Ah, uh, like? yes, yes, yes. Uh. but I got no solution to it, lah, bro. Uh. Uh, oh, I really have no solution to it. Okay, but mm. right now that I am um. I'm seeing someone mm. and mm. she also watches the show. And uh, is it haunting me? I would say kind of. Mm. Kind of. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, because if, for example, um, I am this man now, but I wasn't that man last time, mm. she can just watch the show and like, oh, this mm. is proof that you weren't, that you are able to do this or you are able to do that. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, on the show, I say I've cheated before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of people I slept before, or whatever. So yeah. I can't lie. Yeah. <laughs> your your basically your YouTube past has been can be weaponized uh, to yeah. against you. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that's the downside. <laughs> like when argue argue. Oh, is it? Is it? Do you fifteen minutes here? You said <laughs> this. Send this, link to you. <laughs> this. Yeah. So I guess that's the downside of it. But uh. I don't think I'm an asshole. Uh. Mm. Yeah. And all this is in the past, and like, yeah. this is why I am now, lah. Like, yeah. Mm. I see. So so when you guys think of the content and do the recording. Mm. Um, like what's the process like because now the end product is like 15-20 minutes right Yeah. how yeah. long is the actual recording it's about 45 minutes to an hour mm. uh, and me as a producer I I go by value I yeah. don't go by time 
So like I will write a a pre episode, sorry, a a a, a pre production flow. Yeah. Uh, where I will write the topic and then the subtopics that we can dive into. Mm. Right. Mm. Um. This I will pass to the the guy behind the camera. Yeah. So I have a a producer on set lah because yeah. I'm on I'm also the talent. Uh. So he will just look at it and make sure we hit all points lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's if we good. don't hit all points, then you don't go. We will continue rolling lah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so then building on what we were talking about earlier, where you want to be honest. There's still a lot of stuff that doesn't make it to the final cut. Mm. So what's the thought process there? Uh, or is it you have shared like too much or or like how how do you think about that? In this current market, yeah. things that might get us cancelled. Oh yeah. Okay. Or things that are too personal. It's mm. usually things that are too personal. La. Yeah. Mm. Um I mean we practice self-censorship on set. Uh and for example, because we don't want to break the flow of the conversation. And because we are very into the conversation already, mm. the girls will always say, "Okay, don't put this in, but yeah, blah 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 blah." Uh, yeah. Okay, so everybody is conscious enough to do that, like, and and that's mm. actually quite a feat because we've had guests way back in the past who we realize are not ready to bear all on on the podcast, mm, and mm. then it becomes a big roadblock, lah. Because yeah. then you mm. don't go deep enough. So I guess it helps that yours is a recurring cast, so everybody knows what the show is about. Yeah. There's there's almost. Do you find it cathartic or not? Like like relaxing, like it's just a place it is, to. Um, it is, yeah. So I mean, when we like, you, I mean, you see the comfort on set, lah. Yeah, we are, we are not like you know very stiff up. It, it's yeah. literally like that, like we come in like this, lah. We just sit down and yeah. and, and talk, lah. Mm. Yeah, but of course, uh, I have dual roles to play, right? So mm. in my head, I'm still producing it. So mm. at many times, if we go off topic, I will bring them bring back, lah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if for example I go off topic, then the producer will bring me back, lah. Yeah. Then the the stuff that you don't release, you can cut up and put on OnlyFans, ah, right? That's a <laughs> a new revenue stream, lah, right? <laughs> Jay Jay will do that. Jay, I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we were also talking about uh, on a previous episode where just trying to understand the whole OnlyFans and and there are people who are very openly OnlyFans creators, mm. and we were thinking, shit, is the younger generation just a lot more comfortable with sex? Mm. Uh, talking I would say about yes, sex. Eh. and that's the scary yeah. thing. Um, okay. okay, so you when, are, when you say younger, like what what age are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, like, younger than me lah. Because oh, we uh, are late thirties. Yeah, yeah late 30s, I'm really. 30, 30, okay, early thirties. Okay. I'm talking about Gen Z, sir. Ah, yeah, uh, okay. So like below twenty five. Yeah. Oh, Gen Z is yes below twenty five. Yeah. Okay. Are, are they the bulk of your viewership? Uh, fifty fifty. Fifty. Yeah. 50. So I mean, I we start from seventeen. Mm, okay, yeah, okay, so okay. it's okay lah. Yeah, okay. yeah, seventeen stronger seventeen to thirty five lah. So yeah, it's a yeah, mix yeah, of yeah. like Gen Zs and millennials. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. So I mean, back to back to that. The audience a bit scary now, bro. Like yeah. uh, they are they are very open to sex. Mm. Yeah, and I mean, very open about sex also. About right? Correct, sex. correct. Yeah. I mean, okay. I guess our generation is a bit similar. Mm. It's, it is taboo, but mm. there are some people who yeah. are okay with it. Yep. Yep. Right, mm-hmm. like okay, sleeping around, okay with cheating and everything, right? Mm-hmm. But these people, they are openly okay with it. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, like, I, I, I don't speak for all of them. Yeah. Or rather, um, just some Gen Zs that I'm, I'm, I've met. Yeah. Yeah, they are very open with like just sleeping around and like talking about it, Right. Because yeah. even in our generation, there will be people who sleep around, but they never talk about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like even with my guy friends, right? Mm-hmm. We never talk about like what we do with sex and like yeah. stuff in the bedroom. Like it's almost like a no go area, and I don't know whether it's an anomaly <laughs> or not. But I don't know. Like for you and your friends, yeah, yeah, friends? yeah. It's not. I mean, uh, we know everyone does. Does yeah, it? <laughs> yeah. But we just don't discuss it. Yeah, as it's much, like everyone la. poops, lah. You know, but you never talk yeah. about pooping, right? Yeah. So everybody fucks, but you <laughs> like for for our generation, it just feels like okay, that's something that you know, private private matters. Yeah. Right? Okay, I think um, the the people that I hang out with or grew up with, right? Um. Yeah. We when it comes to our girlfriends, we don't talk about it. There's um, a sense of like, or rather, there's a there's respect there. Yeah, okay, okay. Or I mean, or simple ones like, oh, how often do you guys fuck? Yeah. Can answer lah. Yeah, like, but you yeah. know, if there was a time when mm. you know we talk about a hey, good not the service. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, your voice changed also. Uh. <laughs> okay. that, that after hours <laughs> voice. <laughs> like, hey, power not the service. Oh, uh. Suck off power. Not. <laughs> if you like, I. Like uh, eight years ago, yeah, I'll yeah. be fucking okay with that question. You get yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, now yeah, I'll just yeah. be like, bro, what the fuck, right? Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. guess the respect is like, girlfriends, partners, we don't talk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If there's a one night stand, I will glad you te- gladly tell you about it. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. because like, 
it's a stranger yeah. and that uh we agreed that it's a one night stand, so it's just it's just that lah. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I guess that's a that's the form of respect that we have. But the Gen Z's, bro. Oof. Anything goes, eh? They're, mm. they're proud of it also, lah, right? They're proud yeah, and of- I guess it's also a bit of our fault. Mm. You know? As in your fault, as in our generation or your show? Both, bro. Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I guess with high reach, right? Or yeah, high yeah, viewers, yeah. we have a, some sort of responsibility. Mm. But then again, it's unscripted and it's talent driven. Mm. So it's like, but this is us, right? So where does the responsibility, where do we draw the responsibility, right? Mm. And we try to give that sense of responsibility at the end of the show. So every time before we end the show, we have a conclusion. Yeah, um, yeah. And this, I mean, it's not stated as a conclusion. We just say, I mean, for example, if we talk talking about giving sex, mm. we just will say things like, oh, you know, if you're a virgin, if you are not comfortable in giving it, then don't give it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But why, how, why I say that, right, that I feel responsible is because um, during, co- during lockdown, I went on Instagram live a lot. Okay. And one day I was bored. I was like, you know what? I'm going to allow my followers to join on a live with me and just have a chat with me. Uh. Mm. My man. 14 year old 15 year old bro oh, oh, oh. joining the life that I'm like what the fuck oh, that's dangerous territory man <laughs> dangerous right <laughs> oh, sh- and then they say things oh I've been watching you since after I was I'm like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> can you like you know <laughs> I'm like so after that I immediately called Jay I'm like I, I think we should be more responsible you know like what are we advocating here <laughs> oh shit oh, wow. yeah and so, so those 14 and 15 year, year olds they were coming to you with their stories about Sex yes. And all oh, questions yes. and all. Wow. Is yeah, it questions. sensei? Wow. Please. Is yeah. It? Wow. I mean, watching the show itself, it's yeah. a bit like, yeah. Mm. yeah. Like, I mean, we don't put that the show is 18 and above. La. Mm, mm, mm. But again, even if we put, like, you know, I mean, they will still YouTube watch la, it. Right? Yeah, it's YouTube, yeah. they will watch it anyway. So it's like, yeah. I guess it's what, because of, I, okay, I, I think like this, I'm assuming that they think it's okay because we did it mm. when we were mm. young. Yeah. Mm. You know? But yeah. also, we also don't want to say don't do it. Who are yeah. we to tell you not, not to do it, right? Yeah, I mean, when right. you're young, you're, you're, you're dumb. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. And you just do a lot of stupid things. Lah. And yeah. this, is, this is us telling you that we did it too. We are not telling you that it's okay, but mm. you are not alone. Lah. Mm. Ah, yeah. So you're just a bit afraid that uh, talking so much about it kind of normalizes it for that generation. Yes, yes. Uh, that's the word now. Normalize. Normalize. Yeah. Normalize. So then how do you deal with the thing that, okay, so one school of thought is that you should be able to talk about anything you want because mm. people still have the right to control what they want to watch. Parents can have the control. Yeah. Or whether you are like, okay, you still need to be responsible as a content creator. Mm. So mm. where are you, like, is that a constant like existential? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, as a producer, the questions that I write, um, so again, right, main topic and then subtopics, mm. right? Mm. Under all these subtopics, I will write questions. And when I write the questions, I will think about how I will answer it and how yeah. my cast members will answer it. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of, in a way, carefully write it so that they don't accidentally mm. say stupid oh. things. Mm. But I don't watch over there a lot because again, we practice self-censorship and yeah. I guess the Jade is smart enough mm-hmm. to know what to say and what not to say. Muna has like, I don't know, 12 years of experience yeah. and yeah. so she also knows what to say and what not to say. Uh, and then there's just me, Kisha, and uh, Saffron. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you see Saffron, Saffron just go, man. Yeah. 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 And yeah. she's Gen Z. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but has, yeah. it, has there ever been a situation where, I mean, because uh, as a guy, la, right, mm. generally, or oh, if you talk a lot about your, you know, your sex and your sexual history, uh, I mean, some other guys would be like, oh, bro, wow, good for you, man. Yeah. But, you know, for girls, it's a different thing. La. You know, mm. they were, oh, wow, this girl is so promiscuous, all that. Mm. Has there ever been a time you all posted something and then they realized, oh, shit, it's, it's, it's making one of the cast members look really bad okay. for, for that reason? Yeah, so um, I, do pra- I, I do send them first cards okay. and let them know. Uh, oh, yeah, so okay. if they say, can we take this out? Then I will. Mm, yeah, mm, if not, right after filming, they know what they want to take out already. And oh, then they will okay, say, yeah. can you take this out? I see, I see. Yeah, but... Again, it's us lah. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you, yeah. it, I, I feel like unless or only if we are hurting people mm. and then we will take it out. Yeah. If mm. we say, for example, I, yeah, I was together with my girlfriend. I didn't like her. I broke up with her. I cheated on her. That's my experience, right? Mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I did hurt her, but mm. that's between me and her and I'm just talking about my experience lah. Yeah. Unless I say, fuck you, mm. then I'm like, okay, no, I cannot. 
Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that I take out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So that's how we balance stuff, lah. Yeah. It's mm. about something interesting earlier. You you are talking about responsibility and and everything. Mm. But at the same time, you were saying earlier, don't to sort of uh, you don't see yourself as an influencer. Yes. Per se. Yes. Uh, what what where 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 are you drawing the line between what influencer is and what you know a content creator or you know someone in the media space uh, who a lot of mm. young people watch is. I guess having two personas. Mm. That's how I mm. see it, lah. Mm. Yeah. Um, like, okay, I don't want to name specifics because I can't think of any right now. But I I assume, uh, most like for example, Instagrammers mm. or TikTokers, they have dual personas. They are two different people on Instagram and or on TikTok and in real life. Mm. But I feel like I am not lah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I I always pledge to be real, or, yeah, and yeah. I always make sure that I'm real. Mm. And I don't pretend to be someone else, lah. Mm. Yeah, if I'm poor, I will say I'm poor, man. <laughs> yeah, you, mm. you get what I mean. Mm. I don't need, I don't find the need to live up to that in, in influencer, um, whatever is like profile or whatever it is right. When yeah. people think of influencer, they think oh, these people, these people have money. Yeah, these people wear branded goods and whatever. But I, I don't live up to that. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't find a need to post um, lavish things. Mm. Or I don't find a need to have my feet beautified to a point mm. to a certain point la. Mm. yeah I post whatever I want okay and, okay yeah and I guess that's why I guess I'm very relatable okay mm. yeah but that's, I guess that's why third parties like like you know whether it's uh, agencies or government or what will see you as an influencer la, because you uh, in your way of being authentic you actually connect with uh, young people and mm. and everything so uh, I mean, you walk in those meetings and say, "I'm not an influencer. Please don't call me that. Or, no, I'm not a KOL." Uh, <laughs> if you okay, if the question is, do I get offended? Uh, mm, yes and no, because in their eyes, yeah. I am one lah. Uh, okay. Because they don't see the work that I I do ma. Yeah. So why does that offend you? Because I feel like the 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 tag uh, is just oh, you're just an Instagrammer. You know, uh, you just post nice photos, but mm, I don't do that shit. I, I mean, I, mm. I do post nice photos yeah, yeah, yeah. for brands, yeah. uh, mm. but I am more than that. Mm. Uh, and I feel like, I feel like, while I don't need you to know, I mean, it's just a personal thing, you know? It, mm. It's like a pet peeve. Yeah. yeah mm. It's just a pet peeve, but I, yeah. I get it. Like, mm. people look, view us this way. Yeah. yeah. Also, one, one thing I do notice about when the way you talk about um, your past and everything. Uh, actually you're very introspective for someone in their 20s already mm. you already sort of uh, you even able to identify moments or points in your life where you know you sort of realise hey, this this person is looking out for me or this person is like, like I think you're, you're, when you talk to your teacher and you still yeah. mention your teacher yes. your form teacher as a very big influence right. in your life beast, like. bro. When, mm. when, when did this um, where did this introspection come from uh? is it is it your your personality, just since young, you've always been looking back. Hey, how? Why am I thinking like this? Why am I behaving like this? Or what? Yes. Okay. So actually, um, so I'm the I'm the kind of guy. I'm very I'm very bad at studies. Like okay. I'm very bad at book book mm. shit. I mm. learn through people, and when I learn through people, and there's something I want to learn from them, and I look at them, I always ask myself, why am I not like that? Mm. So when I ask myself, why am I not like that? I will look at my past, and think about why did I spend time to be like that. Mm. If that makes mm. sense. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I, I guess that's how I, I look at things. And yeah. uh, that's why I kind of know like, oh, at that point of time, this guy was looking out for me because of this, this, this. Mm. Yeah. If mm. that answered your question. No, but, no yeah, because uh, I think a lot of people uh, in their 20s or what, they're still, they're still sort of figuring themselves out. Mm. You know, haven't been able to look back and like, okay, because of what that teacher did for me, that's why it's, I, I'm, that's where I am today and all that. But uh, yeah, you already seem to be identified oh my brother and my teacher and all that. Lah. So ah, it, is, okay. it is quite a... Uh, I was like, hey, this is uh, not the usual kind of thing that you hear from young people. Lah. Yeah, uh, I, I think a lot. I really do think a lot. And mm. um, I guess when I, when I sometimes... Uh, my bad habit when I'm thinking is mm. I tend to blame people <laughs> uh. for the man that I am not today. Mm. Okay. And I guess when... I look at my past and mm. why I don't go to school is because I didn't have a dad at home. Mm. So then my brother mm. was taking care of me and my brother's only three years older. Mm. So mm. in a way, we were still growing up together, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like skipping school was like, ah, you skip, like, I don't yeah. tell, I don't tell uh, Aya or whatever, I don't tell my dad or whatever. Yeah. So um, 
that's how I kind of pointed to like, oh, okay, this, when I didn't have a dad, my brother yeah. was taking care of me, but who was taking care of me in school? Mm, mm, yeah, and it was this guy lah. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Mm. yeah. So, so I think it's damn cool that, that introspection can, you manage to make money out of it also lah, you know, make it your career. <laughs> but what if, if, if there wasn't, if you weren't doing this, if you weren't doing this uh, agency media kind of thing, mm. What do you think you'd be? What what job do you think you'd be doing now? Oh, bro, therapist. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you got a couch already, right? You you like couches, lah. <laughs> uh, I guess okay. So again, uh, books is never my thing, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've I've always had this creative spark. Mm. I guess uh, when I speak to my ex bosses or even my form teacher, he's al- he always tells me like you always had this creative spark. Mm. You know, but uh, you just lack discipline. For example, last time, mm. and you just do want to study, lah. Yeah. So if you ask me what I'll be doing, I guess it will still be in a form of creative. Mm. Wait, sorry, sorry. I just, just you, he said you lack discipline. Nah. Yes. But then, now, I mean, now you are like hustling, you know, and, and mm. doing everything. When was that awakening that you need to have like discipline and do things properly in your Ooh. life? When, when you are broke, bro. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this I the cannot find another factor, uh, that uh, people will yeah. fucking go all out. Uh. So that was... Uh, when was it? When, when was, was that? that? I mean... Uh, no, bro. Oh, uh, COVID. I would say COVID. Uh. COVID. Yeah. Okay, because I always had a full-time job, right? Okay. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, when I left the previous company, mm. uh, bro, it was COVID times or so and I, I couldn't find a job. Oh, so, so you left around like pre-COVID, like just bro, on the cusp Two weeks of before lockdown, bro. Wow. Yeah. That means you tendered like a month before that yes. or something. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So then um uh yeah, so then start between four walls, mm. right, at home. And then uh again I'm not close to family and I was in a home with my dad and we don't even talk, so I was in my room all the entire time. Couldn't find a job, I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Mm. Right? So then I literally put out on paper, who am I? What can oh. I do? Yeah. What can I do? Um how can I do it? And uh, I mean, basically, who am I and what am I at the current point of time? Well, mm. shit, that must have been like a very, like, a not easy exercise. La, to it was like not, really bro. Yeah, so it's literally like digging in yourself and finding what you're good at. And this is telling yourself that you're good at this. Mm. Again, like, and I don't usually do that. Yeah. I'm always thinking I'm not good at things, you know, just so I can improve. Uh, and it was two things. La. One is, I'm still an agency dude, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So which means I... I still can plan marketing stuff. And number two is, I am a YouTuber or an influencer. Mm, mm. So how do I mix the both of that together? Mm, mm, mm. So how I did, I mean, at that point of time, I, my agency brain was thinking, how would I market myself? Mm. If today I'm a brand, why would I engage you? I see, I see. And if today, and I think about if I am a YouTuber, what content will I create? Mm, mm. Yeah, so then again, I talk a lot of shit. I, I, some people think I'm funny. Some, uh, uh, most people think I'm very raw and honest lah, and relatable. Yeah. So I just started filming shit on my iPhone mm. and just doing commentary stuff. Lah. Mm. Yeah. And then... Uh, you mean commentary on like pop culture or social issues? It was or? specifically on COVID stuff. Mm. Yeah. COVID on COVID stuff. <laughs> Oh, covid <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. there was a page, right? covid yeah. of Singapore. Yeah, so then I just took it and I just commented on it lah, uh. in, in a funny way. Mm. And everything was unscripted. Just like, just went off and then... um. I was like, oh, I actually enjoy doing this, right? At the same time, I was still applying for jobs. Lah. Yeah. So then, I guess the discipline came from there. Mm. Because I managed my time properly because you have nothing to do during lockdown, right? Yeah. You yeah. had like tw- literally maybe 12 hours a day. Not even mm. 8, 12. Right? So I just split my time accordingly. Like, okay, this time I apply for jobs. This time I edit, uh, film videos and this time I, I edit videos. Mm. Mm. So that's how I kind of got into that discipline. Yeah. Of, yeah. Okay, I have to do this, I have to do this. Previously, when you were in a full time job, the only discipline that you 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 need is to appear your yeah. job on time, yeah. Yeah. yeah, do your job, yeah, and you still get paid, mm. yeah. But this one, being a freelancer, and you guys will know, yeah, yeah, that it's it really different. depends on how hardworking you are, la. yeah, yeah and how much you hustle, la. yeah. So that's where I really truly learn time management, man. Mm. Yeah, time management is so important. But yeah. did, did this coincide with the time that you also uh had ex- like your weight loss and? Yes. During COVID yes, as well. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah, affected okay. that into you know what? Now that you said it, yeah, maybe I learned time management from there and discipline from there. Or maybe that's how oh. that's how my discipline kind of sparked. You know? Mm. Like 
yeah, the weight loss thing, like, you know, like not eating, oxygen, not eating, dieting. And also. you're doing a lot of exercise in your room itself, right? Yeah, like, yeah. That was the crazy yeah, thing. Yeah. And during, filming it. And, during and, COVID itself, I lost 8 kg. Mm, mm, again, like time most management. People, most people yeah. are the other way around. Uh, they get yeah. <laughs> in. Weirdly enough, right? Yeah, yeah, during COVID, I lost 8 kg and because of time, time management. Mm. And uh, when people come to me for advice, uh, I always tell them this, man. And when people come to me, and, and these people are probably having the same experience as me. Mm. Didn't do well in school, don't know what the fuck to do. I always ask them, what do you want to do? Mm. Right? What are you very inspired about? Or, or what, basically, what the fuck do you want to do? Like? And in five years time, what do you think? You want to be a rock star? Mm. Well, I mean, you can be whatever the fuck you want, right? Just have the right dream, right? Yeah. Mm. If that's what you want to be, break it down into lists of things and put time to it. Mm. And that's, that's how I do it. So, yeah. but... Um, so what you're saying is, but what what led up to the moment that you decided to write down on paper or like to take the the decision to exercise? Because mm. I mean, I can imagine sometimes, and even for me personally, like during COVID, uh, yeah, we had some stuff happen right before COVID, which was fucked up, and it's easy to get into this limbo where you're mm. sitting at your desk, you want to do work, but you're not productive. But mm. it it couldn't have been just an overnight switch for you, right? Like, what was the the lead up to that moment where you wrote down the thing on on paper? I wasn't getting hired. Uh. Uh, yeah. And like okay. my savings were depleting. I was I was jobless for like uh close to ten months. Mm. Yeah. So like savings just like then I'm like, okay, okay, fuck. I really if I can find one K somewhere, I'll find one K somewhere. Mm. You know? So that's when like if I need to be an influencer, I need to I be an influencer. Mm. Yeah. I was just doing whatever I can. And then um that's how it, like I was like, ah fuck, I need to manage my time better. Mm. Yeah. So like I started thinking as an employee. I started thinking as a business owner. It's mm. just a lot of things, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, mm. just to make that extra dollar. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no bad. Uh. That means COVID was quite, really quite transformative, transformative for you. Yeah, bro. Body, mind, everything. Uh. Yeah, I, 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 I would, when I think about it, I'm like, actually COVID did me well, mm. you know? Like, uh. I mean, if you take away the tough times, it mm. did me well. Uh. It really turned me into a new person, uh, I would say. Wow. But are you generally an optimistic person? Yes and no. Mm. Yeah, yes and no. Yes and no. La. Okay, so you're not one of those eternal optimists like kena hit by, by a rock. You're like, oh, you know, the scar t- tissue will be tough and will treat me. You, no, you no, have no, up no, and down. No, no, no. Because, no. <laughs> yeah, when I see some people who are overly optimistic all the time, I'm like, real or not? Can that mm. be real or not? No, la, I, again, I'm very real. La. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I always have the right dreams. La. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For example, if can I be a rock star today? The answer is no. Mm. La. So then what's, what was your answer when you were when you were thinking five years time what can you be and all that? Yeah, what's your dream? Because that's what you, that's uh, what you uh, told people to do, right? Yeah. So for for yourself, what do you write down that you want to be in five years or? I just want okay. There was no specific job, mm, right? Okay. I just wanted uh. Okay, if there's was there was one thing I want, it was help. It was to help people. Help people. Mm. Yeah, um, because I feel like the shows that I've been doing, mm. um, it was, it was in a way indirectly helping the youth, right? Because mm. we are sharing what what we went through yeah. and this is how you get out of it or yeah. this is what you shouldn't do. Yeah. And um, we when I brought the talents on the show also, mm. it kind of helped them as influencers also mm. Uh, mm. because they break out of the Instagram market. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Right? And now, now they're on YouTube, they have something to to shoot at. Yeah. Yeah, so um, in my head, I'm like, okay, in five years time, I want... Um, to help people mm, mm. and if for example Jade needs help in something I yeah. can help her uh, I if Saffron needs help in something I, I can see. help her so, so you also think of it as like you helping your friends or so la, yeah. being like a focal point where you know they can come to you for help whether it's money or mm. jobs or whatever la. yeah yeah. I, I, I it's just help la. you know okay, like okay. Um, if for example now mm. just saying yeah, mm. I, I, the things we talk about I hope it has helped people so it was general help not specific help financially, help career. Oh, yeah, financially, just... definitely not, lah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 give it, yeah, I don't give people. <laughs> yeah, that's, why, that's why I was like, wow, so like super noble, lah. But when because I mean, you said that you had this thing that you want to help people, right? Mm. But help can take many forms, right? yeah. Or was it just very broad? You just want it was to... very broad. Mm. Yeah, it's very broad. Mm. But one thing's for sure is that if you want to help people, then you need to make sure that you are, um, at that caliber, lah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I, and you need to take care of yourself first, lah, right? Before yeah, you can help. Yeah, so I just make sure that I am of caliber to help people. Mm. Yeah, and, and 
And I guess it has, it's kind of working out. Mm. You, you get what I mean? Like um, some people have been coming to me for YouTube help, in mm. which I also don't know like how to help in YouTube. You get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> YouTube yeah. help means what? Like how to like, start yeah, a channel? How to start a channel. Uh, and I'm like, you, firstly, you need an email. Yeah. <laughs> and you start the channel, like, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, like, even like, people who want to start podcasts, they, mm. they come to me and ask for help. Like, okay, how do you plan topics? Mm, mm, how mm. do you find your space and everything? Mm. Yeah, so of course, I will, and, and I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, this is something that I can help with. Mm, mm, mm. And I enjoy helping, man. Mm. Yeah, because I feel like um, I was there once. La. Mm. Yeah, and I'm not going to pretend where even if I make it one day or if mm. people think that I've made it, then I'm not going to be the asshole la, mm. and pretend that I was not there once. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And when I was there, no one was helping me. La. Um, you get so, I mean? so it means 10 years down the road or 15 years down the road, like, mm. do you have like this big, big, a bit more, something more specific at this point or it's still broad? Um, I am still finding what a new Francis brand is. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So I guess that's why where I'm, um, what I'm building, but I'm still don't know what, what I'm building. La. So that means you will be at the forefront of the brand. La. Yes. So mm. for example, if mm. people come to me and say, hey, dude, can you make me a show? And then when you watch it, you, you know it's a new fancy show. Mm. For example, I guess like um, Herzy. Mm. Herzy has a very strong brand. Mm. If Herzy writes a show, you know he wrote it. In mm. my opinion, la. like when you watch the Benzi project, I feel like that's very Benzi. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what what is the Dew Francis brand? I don't know. Mm. And I guess it's uh if I were to point it at two things, it's raw and honest la. Mm. or reality la. Yeah. 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 But do you think like because if you are at front and center, you basically can't take a, a can't take a break la, Almost you know, mm, mm. or or is it something that you're still considering? Dew Francis can be the brand, but. Can someone else front or like like you know you can build a brand that where yeah. you are at the center of it or you build something bigger than yourself? Uh, I build something bigger than myself. Uh, I always, I mean, I tell the girls this also. Mm. Uh, we are never bigger than just saying. Mm. So in or a like, sense, like Alex Ferguson like that. <laughs> wow. You are never bigger than Manchester United. And I yeah. I feel like yeah, no one is bigger than what you've built lah. And mm. you and as a business owner, I make sure that. And in a sense where I put anyone on just saying, it will still be work, just right. saying. Mm. Yeah. And I guess that's how the show will live on. Yeah. Mm. And of course, when we grow up, in, in which, which is very soon, right? We want to leave the show. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we don't at 35 years old, we go into a meeting mm. and people look at us like, uh, yeah, we, mm. know, we know you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and how you know us is, ah, because of your talk show, you talk about sex. Like we are known for sex. Yeah. At 35 years old, I don't want that. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> How Harish, you want to be known for sex at yeah, uh, I mean, age. I think Yalabad should change direction <laughs> also. Yeah, it should just be, uh, yeah. We, you know? We're just setting up only fans. Yeah, correct. Yeah, only yeah. fans. Yeah. I'd rather be known as like, oh, yeah, you, I mean, come in the room and like, oh yeah, you've produced some very mm. honest shows, yeah. mm. some very good reality shows. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to be known for. Lah. Uh, mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so like a, a, a creative producer. In that role. sense, okay, yeah. Okay. I guess it's because it's where I'm at now. Yeah. Yep. You know? Um, and I feel like uh, if one advice I would give people who don't know what mm. they want to do next, I really think dig deep into yourself. Know what you're good at currently. Mm. Because if you look in your past, right? The reason why you didn't want, you're not doing that anymore yeah. is for a good reason. Mm. And why you're doing what you're doing right now is also for a good reason. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, People tend to like, oh, I just I want to be this, I want to be that because I was that, mm. and that kind of get them in this uh, bubble, yeah. and they get lost on what they want to do, yeah. So I always advise like, what do you want to do now? What you're good at? What are you good at now? Mm. You know, just bang on that first, yeah. And if and I feel like if you can't be good, you can't make money from what you're good at, yeah. and then you have you have a serious problem, mm. Mm. You get me? Yeah. Before you delve, you dive into something else, make sure you can make money from what you're good at. So, so you know, like, just now what you said, like, one of your skills is being honest, la, right? Mm. But that's not something that you see often in the social media space. La. So when mm. you have guests who come on board, right, how do you get them to be comfortable to share? Or have there been times where certain guests, you can see they're like, oh, shy. Like, yeah. yeah, shy. Yeah, uh, I guess uh, when you come into the room, our yeah. studio, the, the vibe is just 
it's not serious at all. Like. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, like you come in, you will see us lying down on the couch, eating mm. or just talking rubbish. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So I guess when they step in, they kind of, ah, okay, this is a, it's a good vibe. You know? mm. And um, they all, when I invite them on the show, they will probably watch the show before. Yeah. So they kind of know it. Uh, but what I tell them is, before uh, the camera start early, I'm like, this is a conversation. It's not an interview. Mm. Yeah. So we are not here to ask you questions. We are here mm. to get your opinions on this topic that we think you have a lot of opinion in. Mm. For example, mm. we invited like Titus for OnlyFans. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kuma and Heiko. We yeah. That was a very interesting episode. Yeah. Mm. To talk about the generations, mm. um, yeah. the difference in our generations. Yeah. 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 So it was never an interview, it was just a conversation. I see, I see. I well, see. Like this. La. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But but I mean, it's it's interesting la, because I can imagine it can be quite intimidating almost to come on the show. Because <laughs> for for your private matters and all, mm. there is this kind of social, how you say, uh, um, the flex lah, you know how how experienced you are sexually and all that. So I can imagine that, <laughs> or or is there something in the younger generation that is 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 not a big deal or or, or anything? Uh, you, you get what I mean? Social flex ah, no lah, no lah. Uh, okay, I mean it depends on the topic, right? Yeah. Um, mm. If let's say we are talking about sex, and then yeah. if you never had sex before or you yeah. only had a few partners, if you want to say and if you are proud of it, then I guess mm. you won't be shy to say it lah. Yeah. 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 I guess once you're not shy to say it, then okay lah. <laughs> like, yeah. And of course, we won't like go like, what chi bai lame say you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or oh, only fuck two girls or one yeah. lame <laughs> We won't do that shit lah. <laughs> no, because I see that and, and that's why I think shows like yours is, like, is refreshing because, I mean, we also try and like study platforms across uh, and see what sort of content resonates and lately, I've been trying to understand LinkedIn. Mm. And bro, LinkedIn is all about the fucking flex, no? Yeah. I tell you, and, <laughs> and it's... it's uh, I mean, we, we've spoken about it quite a few times. And that's where I feel like... Um, yeah, it, it, it's weird because now when you expect more transparency, more honesty, mm. the you don't see many shows that kind of adhere to that. They mm. have like this false honesty yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And I fucking hate that shit, lah. So mm. that's where even in the in the YouTube scene, yeah, like um, like you know, just now you say with IG, you look at IG now. There's a certain aesthetic, lah, right? That mm. is kind of expected and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so yeah, so that was where I was coming from in terms of oh, it's interesting that that you guys your core selling point is honesty, lah. Mm. Mm. Actually, right. actually, yeah, uh, since you're on that, lah. Yeah. Actually, I also wanted to ask you like um, I mean, the past year for YouTube, lah, Singapore YouTube has been quite uh, a lot of scandals and all these things, lah. Mm. And it's scandals about sex, scandals about relationships, which is like what you all talk about on, in every episode. So, what, 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 what do you see? What do you see is the problem in the, or at least like, what do you think of the YouTube scene in Singapore now, lah? You know, with all these things going on, and 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 honestly, I mean, I ask myself also, like, what what would make me want to watch a Singaporean YouTube channel and things mm. like that? And um, it's quite difficult to to come up with a good answer, lah. Yeah. So I wonder if I hear your thoughts also. I think the current market now, um, those who are still in the market mm. and um, still making money from it, uh, we are at our own space. Mm. Yeah. For example, mm. you cannot bring the Chen Hao Tan down. Mm. Mm. There's no way, bro. And his market, like he is king. Yeah. 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 And uh, I mean, all respect to him. Like um, he's been doing it for so long and yeah. still staying relevant in that market for so long yeah. mm. and I feel like no one can bring it down. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah and I feel like uh, where I'm at is the millennial market and um, I don't want to say no one can bring me down la, because mm. I feel like if Jay and Stefan do another show, yeah, they can. <laughs> 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 you know, but uh, in terms of, I, okay, <laughs> the phrase is we are all, uh, we are not sharing a pie. Yeah. Yeah, everyone has their own pie lah. Okay, like you take okay. that piece of the pie, you, I take my piece of the pie. Okay. Yeah, so I guess we are in a good space. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no competition in that sense, mm-hmm. right? Uh, uh, but there are also some media brands that are doing like other talk shows and everything. But again, different market. For mm-hmm. example, Zula Chick Chats. Mm-hmm. It was a, it's a, it's a, it's Chick Chats lah. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. So they talk a lot about girl stuff lah. Yep, yep, yeah. Yeah. Something thing. that I don't do lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess there's that. I mean, I've never spoken to any of them, but mm. I guess there's this um, understanding that, oh, okay, like, I wouldn't start something new to to, to bring you down. Yeah, mm. yeah, you know, yeah. like, we just do our own things. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So no yeah. drama, no drama, no, 
not that oh, I know oh, of lah. But then okay. again, I also don't hang out with all of them lah. Uh, mm. Yeah, so I I I don't know. Then next week, we do launch the chick chats. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just saying version, right? <laughs> no, because just now you one one thing you brought is ultimately your show. There are other people involved, lah. Mm. So that's one risk of managing talents or have a show that 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 has uh, an ensemble cast, lah, right? Mm, mm. So how do you how do you manage that? It is very hard to okay, not say very hard to manage them. Yeah, uh, it's very hard to manage their time. Yeah. yeah, because these people are very famous also. Mm. Uh, like for example, Muna, fuck me. Yeah. yeah, Muna is corporate. Like like she, she yeah she she's all over all yeah. over. Uh. Yeah, like like for you to ask for her time is like you have to ask two months before. Correct. Because right. she's fully booked like two months before. Yeah. And yeah. you send message, you have to give two weeks to respond for for her to respond. Okay, no lah, no, 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 Fuck, that's just me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, she don't like you. Well. <laughs> she confirm don't like you. <laughs> It's just, it's just me, yeah. Fuck, yeah. yeah. I got your contact through her, lah. Yeah. La. <laughs> she told me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, she has a PA, lah. Yeah, and you correct, know, if correct. someone has a PA, they like they have a lot of shit to do, lah. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess finding time to come in and film is very hard. Yeah. Mm. So what we do is just like, okay, guys, I'll just say, guys, please send all your timings this month. Muna will go first. Mm. Muna's like, I'm only free on this day, and then we f- we go according to Muna's time because she's the busiest. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Um. But managing them. As I do manage them lah, like uh, you just do whatever you want lah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. You, your focus is on the show lah, right? The, yeah. Uh, making sure the show, yeah, at its core is, is the, yeah, is good. La. But I I also feel like I do have a bit of responsibility over them. Mm. Uh, I mean, in a way, I brought them into this YouTube scene. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what's next for them lah? Mm. Yeah. I always mm-hmm. think about what's next for for all of us. And uh, I recently just launched a new show called Just Life. Mm. Right, uh, it's something that I really wanted to do for a very long time or so, cause uh, so I mean it's a, it's a lifestyle show. Uh, it's an open format show where we, me and Muna, just go around Singapore covering some of the best stories in Singapore, lah. Mm. So a, a lot of like your CNA insider shit, mm. but less journalism mm. type. Yeah, okay. so it's just me. Lifestyle. Yeah, I feel like, <coughs> okay, for example, the the person with the biggest house in Singapore. Oh, oh, don't you okay. want to know? Mm. <laughs> yeah. That interests me. I go and cover. La. So you have episodes live already? I only have one episode uh, uh-huh. so far. Uh, and it's a sponsored episode by Singapore Hospice Council. Mm. Mm. So I actually spoke to someone who has their days numbered. La. Mm. Yeah, which was, again, something I really always wanted to to do. Mm. Uh, it's a very sensitive topic. Like if you know when you're going to die, what do you think about, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I spoke to this uh, guy called Peter. Um I think only 18 months left to live. Damn. Yeah, uh, from from lung cancer. But he, I mean, he he is uh, 80 plus with you, 70 mm. plus, 80 plus with you. So in his mind, he's like, okay, I'm ready to go. Mm. Yeah, but I'm still trying to find someone who is probably our age, maybe. Ooh. Who's you know? got numbered, numbered time. Yeah, numbered time. But again, very hard to find. La. I mean, for them to be comfortable and being in front of camera and just yeah, saying, just yeah, just yeah. talking, a bit hard. Mm. But that's something I'm trying to do. La. Mm. But it's, it's, um, I mean, it's interesting you said that just now we are not sharing, cutting the same pie, lah, right? Because there's one thing you hear a lot in Singapore for any mm. business that's starting. Mm. The local market is too small. Mm. And I mean, in some way, that is one theory I have uh, about the YouTube drama lah, compared to other countries. Is it because we are so small that you it's very territorial? Lah, but you don't feel mm. that. You don't feel, don't feel that. You don't feel that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe I, I never thought of it. Lah. Mm. Yeah. Because, I, okay, I personally make sure that I don't touch Chen House stuff. Yeah. You know oh, why? Okay. Because I cannot lah. Mm. You know? Because you cannot in the sense. I cannot lah. Uh, oh, as in, as in his audience and his type of content. Yeah, okay. his type of content. Like, I cannot do lah. I thought mm. you meant his talents. You cannot, you cannot. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, talents, they have their own agreements. Yeah, right? So yeah, they come, can come on our show, then they come like they cannot, yeah. and they say they cannot lah. But in terms of where we are in the market, yeah, I don't, I well, how I view it is, mm. it, I, it's a space lah. It's a space, yeah. Mm. It's just that, like, okay, now we are in this space. How do we grow in this space? Mm. Instead of, I want to make money in Chen House space. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think of it that way. So so then do you think your show will grow up with you guys or your show will always be creating similar content but just with different talents? The second option, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, okay. Um, I mean, it also depends on how long we as talents want to stay, stay in front of camera. Mm. Yeah, but I would like to say that I don't want to stay in front of camera for long, but then again, if I would like to start a dual fences brand, then I have to stay in front of camera for for mm. quite a while yeah, you mm. know, just, just to stay relevant right yeah yeah so uh, 
Yeah, la, so I mean, right now we're just creating spin-off shows mm. like Just Life. Um, there are more shows coming up, and then um, in these shows we were of course host it first. Mm. At the Just Saying crew, we'll host it first. Each will helm one show, yeah. mm. and then if the show goes big enough, and then we introduce new talents, I introduce new talents, mm. and then we'll move on to something else, lah. You I know, see. if for example, I mean, my my idea is for Just Life. Uh, because I did ask Muna, what do you want to do, mm. right? Uh, and I felt a bit responsible because she left the YouTube space. Correct. correct right? Yeah, and then yeah. now I brought her back in. Yeah. Mm. In fact, she had to, she left to sort of like be quite more like serious actress. And, and a producer. And a producer for life. Yes, yeah, yeah. producer. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, yeah, she acted in our show and, and everything also. And she's a great actress. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, people often forget that she was originally like, yeah, one of the OGs of YouTube mm. back in the day. Yeah. And, so, and so it's quite, quite, quite a full circle to bring her back and so on. Yeah, so I'm like, when I call her, I, I honestly, I was so scared, you know. Like, what is it? It's like, um, I don't know, it's like calling Pochukang, right? <laughs> <laughs> like you call, oh, I'm going to tell Muna you call her Pochukang, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like you call Gurmit Singh yeah, yeah, and yeah. ask Gurmit Singh to do a show for you. Yeah. And then like, then you tell him, I'm writing this show. It's like, it's yeah. quite scary, like, you know, an mm. OG. But you were friends with her already like, before? Uh, um, She came out after hours. She and Muna mm. came out after hours, but we weren't hanging out or whatever. I see, uh, I see, I yeah, see. Yeah, but see. we are both nice people. Uh, la, okay, mm. okay. Yeah, so mm. I called her and then immediately she said yes. Oh. So I was pretty surprised. I'm like, are you, are you sure you're okay coming back into YouTube scene? And she's like, yeah, I'm okay with it. Mm. Yeah, so I, I felt that sense of responsibility because she was so okay with um doing something with me. Mm. Yeah. And um, uh, so now I just want to make sure that if I bring you back into the market, I just make sure that you just stay in the market for as long as possible. Lah. Yeah. Mm. So just life was created because Muna literally said, I just want to help people. Mm. Mm. Yeah. She also wants to help people mm. and she feels like in whatever she's, she's been doing, this element of help does not come out. Mm. Yeah. And, uh. and she wants to show that side of her. Like when she's doing Lazada live and all of it. Yeah. <laughs> no one helping people, what, bro. Uh, uh, she, she also <laughs> tell people which cereal to buy. Uh, oh, my Lord. <laughs> Or a curry puff when she dressed as a curry puff. They helped me. <laughs> oh, they also they got, got me that, through. She uh, also right? dressed as a cat. Uh, a lot of things. As like. a cat. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, shout out to Muna. We, we love her. Yeah, we love shout her. out to Muna. Yeah, we love, we love her. Yeah. But, but so the agreement with them is that do they co-own the brand or, or oh, no. talent? It's, uh, it's just normal talent, talent like, contract. Uh, like, normal yeah, they talent just contract. tell me like, I think I deserve this price. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I, I just see, pay them whatever they ask for. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I, see, I see, I see. So then, you know, just now you mentioned that, um, that like how there are talk shows, but everyone kind of fights in their own space, right? Mm. But with just saying after hours and real talk, how are all of them related? Or, because they're yeah, with yeah, different yeah, yeah. companies and all that, right? Yeah. So, uh, how- it's not, okay. So after hours yeah. was started um, by Gush Cloud. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So when. Uh, at that point in time, John was working for Gush Cloud. Mm. Mm. So when John left Gush Cloud, IP does not belong to him. Mm. And this is John... John Chua. Ah, uh, okay. the, on Real Talk, there's this ah, other guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, correct, correct, yeah. So he left to start his own company called Gravity Media. Mm. Uh, and then I left Gush Cloud to join Gravity Media. I mm. see, okay, okay. Yeah, so then we were like, hmm, should, we, should we start again? Yep, and yep. then we started Real Talk. Lah. Eh, yeah, Real Talk. Mm. Yeah, so when I left Gravity, IP does not belong to me. Uh, and to be honest, I, I, I say this many times. Uh, I had no intention to start a new talk show mm. or like to start anything similar to that. Mm. Right? And um, and I because I I respect the the work you know like yeah. and I don't want it to seem like I'm doing this out of um uh whatever you yeah. Know? But when I left Gravity, um. Gashlaw again gave me a call. Elter gave me a call and like, hey, do you still want to do this? And I'm like, hmm, I don't know. You know? Mm, uh, yeah. But she gave me a deal that I couldn't refuse. Mm. Yeah, it was too good of a deal. And at a point of time, again, I was struggling. Yeah. yeah, it was COVID times, right? And I'm like, oh, okay, let's just do it. Mm. Yeah, so then the show started. So, so, uh, so do you look up to like the talk show hosts out there? Uh, or do you see yourself as like a Conan O'Brien um, or Jimmy <laughs> Fallon? <laughs> Or Howard Stern. Okay, you know what? I mean, it's a hard question to answer, but I would like I would like to think that Real Talk started a a, a wave of reality content. Mm. Yeah, mm. I I guess after Real Talk, even in Malaysia, and I I, I spoke to Ginny Boy about this. Yeah, he and he told me after Real Talk, mm. a lot of people dive into raw and honest content or reality content in Malaysia. Mm. And I also saw that trend in Singapore. Yeah, mm, yeah, after Real Talk, I mean, it's not a new format. 
It's mm. definitely not a new format. I felt like we were lucky. We just launched it at the right time. Mm. The timing was right. Yeah. Um, if I'm not wrong, Moon and Hersey also got to do a talk show vibe thing before. Yeah, but we were just, timing was right. Lah, and mm. it kind of gave people an idea of what they can do. Lah, yeah, mm. Because again, raw and unscripted, so you are just being yourself. Lah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you like reality stuff, it's like your end goal to create like Singapore's uh, singles in for no kind of thing. No. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I actually got invited for that. Eh. No, not singles in for no. Some production. Singapore house. social. Is it? No, no, no. no fuck. Oh. <laughs> 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 So I received an email yeah. from a production house saying uh-huh. that we want to do a, a a show like we want to do a show like too hot to handle but uh, influencer version. Oh. And they ask me whether I want to be in it. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck yes, ah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wait, so, yeah. so to clarify, too hot to handle is a show where they have single men, single women. Uh, walk like like uh, hang out on an island, but they cannot do anything sexual, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, and uh. if they, there's a grand prize of money, and anytime yes. something happens, the money gets deducted. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know the rules for this. Uh, they just want okay. they wanted to cast me for it, and I said, yeah, fuck yes, uh. fucking interesting, right? And I always wanted to be on Netflix. I feel uh. like, but this is for Netflix. Yes, yes, yes. But oh. I don't know whether it it happened lah. Oh, because yes, they, yes, yes. they never got back to me. Okay. This was pre-COVID, COVID or? Uh, this was last year, like mid last year. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said filming was going to be a month later. Mm. Yeah, so I said yes. And then when I spoke to some friends about it, they also got invited and it was, uh, you know, you tell 666? Yeah. Time. yeah, yeah. Uh, Michelle? Michelle also got invited and Michelle also said yes. But not. I, I guess they it didn't happened. get the budget to, to film it. La. Oh, it would be so fucking interesting, right? Wow. <laughs> Because when I watch this kind of shows, I'm like, why is this guy so fucking action? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not the real them, you know? No, but that's what you said. Bro, it's a reality TV show. You cannot control how they edit, no? Yeah, yeah. but yeah. like, then I just like, cannot be these people like that lah. You uh, know, like, yeah. this is not real them. So if, if I am in the show, I'll just be due ah. You know, mm. I don't have a nice body, but I'll take off my shirt ah. Uh. <laughs> you know, I'll be the guy that <laughs> if, you get, yeah, if you get to know me, and uh. then you will like me lah. You, yeah, yeah, you yeah. won't like me if you see me. Uh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like you know and then uh, and then you will know the difference between like a nice looking guy with no personality uh. <laughs> and then someone who's funny uh. <laughs> so, so you, you got pride like you got pride uh. Uh, no like, it's like that, that's how I view it like, like, when, I, yeah. when I see I'm just, I just see we are very attractive people with nice bodies but mm. it's, it's, mm, no personality so right. you have watched all the seasons already yeah because I have to. Okay, not I have to. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't watch Squid Game. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Too Hot to Ender was something that was so much, so talked about. And then when I had friends over, they were like, ah, watch. Just huh? watch, yeah. I mean, that kind of stuff you watch in groups is, is fun. It's funny, like, yeah. like Singles Inferno, I actually really enjoyed it. That was, Fuck, bro. Dude, it's fucking, it's fucking good. Don't shit on Singles <laughs> Inferno. Okay. Bro, Singles Inferno is literally... It's like a K- Korean drama. La. It's a Korean drama. It's, bro, it, like I said, yeah. so, like... People who look nice have no personality. Uh, Fucking hell, all them damn boring, bro. <laughs> Two episodes, this is yeah. how, how, how much I went into it. Yeah. Two episodes, yeah. I'm like, fuck this. No, this one must watch with people because then you can judge together. Yeah, you you know to why watch, I watch yeah. with people and we had a very good laugh? Uh, Singapore Social. Singapore. Uh, yeah, I watched yeah. it three times, bro. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah? yeah, every time with people. And it was so interesting because different people would just yeah, say different correct, things. Correct, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were all watching it for the first time. Yeah, they were all watching it for uh, the first time. And I was like, what? I mean, we also watched it and I think two episodes in for me, like I realized, okay, if you appreciate it for what it is, yeah. uh, it actually can be quite enjoyable. Yeah. You know what's the yeah. problem with the show? I think it's the name of the show. Uh, mm. If you remove the word Singapore from it, mm. I think Singaporeans will be more acceptable to it. And, yeah. If you just put Richie Riches of Singapore, yeah, or correct, Richie correct. Kids of Singapore, oh, yeah. Yeah, then I think like, oh, okay, la, interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you put Singapore social, people will think that, oh, you are representing the kids in Singapore, yeah. And why, why got no coffee shop? But if you think about it, right, it generated so much buzz just because of that. And mm. if there was a trending chart back then, it probably would have trended, mm. right? So that's one of those things. Do you ever think about like um, creatively how to structure your questions to to? I know clickbaity is a very negative word, mm. but do you, how, does that factor into how yes. you think of things? Yes, yes. I mean, uh. that is standard YouTube game, ah. Uh, like, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. thumbnails are very important. Yeah, so uh, how I pick my thumbnails is by what the girls say. La. Mm. Yeah, so like uh, the most recent one, Jake gave a blowjob. 
on the way to fucking work <laughs> on the way to the recording or something right? yeah on the way to work and she was so late already you know like <laughs> filming was supposed to be at 9.30 or something or 10 I can't remember everyone was there and I'm like hey babe we really need to start fucking filming and I mean she told me she was gonna get boosted oh, so okay. she got boosted <laughs> she told me uh, oh okay I'm done at 9.45 yeah no. and the booster the, I mean the clinic was so near so yeah. she would have reached by 10 <laughs> No, she's a fucking driver. You know? <laughs> and I mean, at that point, the boyfriend was driving. La, so she reached late. La, and then after that, she's like, oh yeah, I, I gave a blowjob. <laughs> that fucking bitch. So, so, and she said it while you all were recording because that's when you found out or something. Yes. Right? And like the text message, she just kept telling me to start filming first. I'm like, no. <laughs> right? So like, wow. but she was too late. Already, so I started first. And then when, like, if you watch the episode, mm. it started without her. And yeah. then she came in. Yeah. Because she just finished sucking dick. <laughs> uh. Oh. Yeah, that's why I was watching. I was like, I mean, it's awesome that she's so open about it, like, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, now she's married and everything, so I guess, like, you know, same guy. Yeah. And yeah. the husband is okay with it, like. Husband yeah. is a really cool guy, as well. Like. Uh, wow. wow, that is that. Yeah. So, so the, the kind of things that the, the kind of excuses that, that people have for coming late, like, wow, <laughs> this, that's the first one. I, I yeah, right. Like, Usually, like, wow, I need to shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, again, like this kind of thing is a normal thing to us, you know. Like uh, e- even like with uh my close group of friends, like for example, Muna and Hazi, if yeah. you are having sex, then we just say, "Sir, sir, sir, you are having sex." Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Also, yeah. when you all like don't get back in time, you all will just say that or like or late or something. Yeah. Just like hey, uh, go fuck first, you know. Or whatever it is, lah. I mean, we say it not so crudely. You're just like, oh, I just, mm. yeah, you know. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. Maybe maybe it's just that, uh, like, the circle I grew up in very prude. Because uh, I cannot imagine, like, there's never been a message I've gotten from friends or, like, I send, like, oh, too busy with, with this sort of stuff. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the most I get is just saying, oh, Friday night reserve for girlfriend. Or yeah, yeah. Call, uh, uh, what, yeah. Girlfriend time or quality uh, time yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Then, like, yeah. just booms. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like, Again, we won't say it so crudely. For example, yeah. if like someone never see the boyfriend for so long, and then the yeah. first thing we ask like, "Oh, how was the fuck?" You know. <laughs> then they will so say, like, the all they will say ran- like random things like, "Oh, I fucking horny and never see." You know, like this kind of thing. So the team that helps you with just saying like the camera people, or even mm. this is in partnership with Gush Cloud, right? Yes. So like, um, do you all talk like that to other people in Gush Cloud also? Like, you know, you see a colleague walking down the corridor, hey, you got fucked this weekend. <laughs> <like>. <laughs> <laughs> no lah, but okay, but the camera people, I always disturb them because there's this guy and this girl. Uh, uh, and they got close lah. Uh, I mean, because they were working on the same project, right? Yeah. Uh, so one day after doing filming, I look at them, I'm like, are you guys fucking uh? <laughs> <laughs> And then they get so fucking embarrassed. I mean, they're not. Or yeah. at least that's what, to my knowledge, they're not. Mm. But we always disturb them uh. Uh, So when they're always setting up, and then Muna was like, hey, I think you guys should kiss. <laughs> <laughs> then we were like yeah yeah and after that y'all should be going and fuck ah. oh, just fuck just fuck it out and see lah where it goes yeah, so we like to say like disturb this kind of things lah yeah. uh, funny it's a but, very sexually charged environment <laughs> <think it's> <laughs> but do you think like being so honest on the show has also made you more honest as a person in real life yes I mean okay I, I think I've always been very honest mm. um in terms of about who I am, yeah. So I, I don't pretend to be rich. I don't pretend to be anything, lah. So if people mm. ask, like, if people ask me questions, I always answer like mm. legit, mm. you know. But uh, has it have helped me become a more honest person? I would say no. Mm-hmm. But I guess it has helped me to always tell myself to stay real, mm. Yeah, to stay real, you know. Like yeah. even if I make make it one day, mm. just be humble and stay real, lah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So so then what is your biggest worry now of fear? That now that you're in the space? Uh becoming irrelevant, bro. Uh, it's easier, bro, these days to become mm, irrelevant. Yeah. For example, uh I feel like Sasha does a very good job in yeah. staying relevant. So you now. cannot get rid of her one. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And that, that takes a certain amount of greed. Uh, mm, right? it does. Yeah. Uh and that's the game, uh, bro. Yeah. I feel like as influencers or as whatever we are, um, getting attention is something that we always try to do you know mm-hmm. because it makes us money right, yeah right. so I guess people cannot uh, which sometimes irritates me when people hate on influencers when people mm. cause attention seekers mm. because we are yeah. you know it's part <laughs> of our, our fucking job yeah. 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 yeah and like you know us as influencers because we seek your attention yeah right? mm. uh, why for example why do people 
post bikini photos to get attention lah. <laughs> they have nice bodies, let them show lah. What's wrong with that, right? Mm. And it's a lot of hard work. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's yeah, a yeah. grind to get to that. It's that a stage. real fucking job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, yeah, I personally don't get offended, but I got, get offended for other people. Mm. Yeah, because I feel like it's a real job. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. because I work with them and now I am in that market, I know yeah. it's a real job. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Where was I going? Uh, Irrele- staying relevant. Uh, staying relevant. Or? Yeah, so like... Uh, one thing I really worry about is that we become irrelevant. Mm. Yeah. And mm. You ever worry about getting, next time someone watch your old videos and getting cancelled? Yeah, you mm. say something that maybe now is okay, but five years later it's like, oh, it's uh, so inappropriate. There was, um, there were, I mean, there was, there was some, there uh, was some uh, yeah. uh, that I was quite scared about mm. because at that point of time it was okay to do that. Yeah. Because I was, I was sharing my, my, my sex experience mm, mm, mm. with a Korean girl and mm. she didn't understand English that much. So I was mm. just like, eh, it's not my dear. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> today's context <laughs> went, went so wrong, right? Yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. It went so wrong yeah. and I'm like, and in today's context, I, I honestly see what's wrong with it. Yeah. Mm. Like, okay, fucking chauvinist. Yeah. Yep. Like, you don't demand someone for, <laughs> for a blowjob. I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, I, wrong. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I removed it. Uh, oh, so you do, you do go back and remove uh, these things yeah like. yeah 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 uh, uh, I mean that's part of parcel of staying relevant also mm, uh, I mean I don't claim to be woke yep, yep. Uh, I don't claim to be in the woke culture but I guess we need we, at some point of time or we need a certain understanding of it and yeah, yeah. Uh, at that point of time I see nothing wrong with that because mm. I'm sharing my experience but in two days, two days uh, in, in right now I see yeah. everything that's wrong with that mm. so I'm like okay I remove lah uh, this is interesting. Mm. I mean, we for us, we, we used to do a lot of on the street uh, pranks. Mm. So part of them would also pick up videos, <laughs> yeah. videos. Like now, I think half of Confirm them would be like, yeah, you can't you can't go around in public saying saying thing. Because uh, the some videos things. would be me approaching women on the street mm. and throwing out like a corny headline, uh, pick up line or something, mm. and we'll film that lah. And yeah. of course, we get their consent to feature them. Yeah. But now, if you take any of those clips and take it out of context. Yeah, probably not the the nicest thing to <laughs> to see, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, so I, I guess in today's time, uh, also very hard to stay honest. I I would say okay, mm. not say very hard to stay honest. It's just how you say things. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And um, right now when I, for example, I talk about women on my show, uh, I'm around women la. Yeah. Yeah. So they have a chance to correct me, and if mm. they agree with me, then mm. they're okay la. But uh, yeah, I guess okay. You know what? The show has not taught me to 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 what do you say earlier to 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 be more honest. Mm. The show has taught me how to speak better, man. Mm. You mean like like enunciate, pronounce? No, no, no. no. Oh, you mean just to frame aware. things uh, okay. nicely? Yeah. To to show people that it is not my at- intention mm. to be something else. You, you get what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. So instead of I fucked the girl last night, yeah. I would say so. I had a really nice time with the girl, mm. and uh, you know we. We, we got it on. Oh. Sounds so much nicer, <laughs> right? <laughs> we had like a sexual proper, intercourse. Proper yeah, dinner yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah, proper yeah. Dinner conversation. And, and, and I realized it takes a lot of experience to kind of phrase something so fast in your head yeah. nicely. Yeah. Yeah. So mm, this show mm. has taught me to do that. Mm. I wouldn't say really well, but I always think about, okay, how is this going to fucking sound? I if it's see. gonna sound bad, yeah. then we face it. So it's like the modern version of Toastmasters. Like, you know Toastmasters, the club? No. <laughs> There's a them 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 old reference. There's a fucking old reference, man. Probably younger people listening to. Are you aware of the Toastmasters club? No. And all? Oh no, ah. No. Like during, I think, I guess our parents' time, there was these clubs that people would meet and mm. just to encourage proper speaking, lah. Mm. So you stand up okay. and you give a toast. So it's not yeah, a wedding, okay. yeah, a speech, lah. Mm. So it's Toastmasters. Mm. So that's why I say yours is like a modern day version of Toastmasters, lah. But talking about <laughs> sexual experiences. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> In a very cultured way, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's not sexual intercourse, it's coitus, right? <laughs> yeah, coitus, yeah. Oh, so, in Malay, yeah, they were like jam, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, I mean, it's also a process of being a fucking gentleman, right? Mm, yeah, 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 I guess so. Like, I, I guess, yeah, that's one of the lessons that I learned. Yeah, mm. but I think having, like, talking about stuff, uh, experiences with women, with women around you helps, like, like 
Terence feels like he can comment on Indian culture because oh, I'm yeah. next to him. Yeah. yeah, he just like go I on. I learned so much. I learned so much about it. Yeah, but and how 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 yeah. do you learn, Terence? <laughs> what show do you watch on Netflix? Indian matchmaker. <laughs> Indian oh matchmaker. Indian right? matchmaker. But, <laughs> but that's a good show. Good show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good show. Good show. Fucking good shows. Sima, Sima from Bombay, right? Sima from Bombay. The woman had so so much followers after that. Sima from Bombay. Yeah, yeah, the matchmaker, the matchmaker. But but just understanding how. In the culture, you know, how they treat the mother and the wife and all these things. That made me under, help me understand Arisha's mm. troubles a lot better. <laughs> la. Okay, you oh, see, okay, let me give you an example <laughs> of how today uh, uh, phrasing things is so important. Yeah. 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 So, for example, instead of saying, Indian people always got arranged marriage, one, no man? Mm. Mm. Would you be offended? Um... I would be this a very like simplistic yeah, way of looking yeah. at it. Yeah. yeah, I just so, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Or, Correct me if I'm wrong. What I understand is that <laughs> from Indian matchmaking, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, or like, uh, is matchmaking really a thing in Indian culture? Mm. Make it a question instead yeah, of a statement, okay. right? Uh, yeah. So like, this, wow. So have you lot. have you thought of make, doing like a skills future course on conversation and all? <laughs> they got approached you or not? <laughs> How to talk about uh, touchy topics? By no. you, Francis. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't honestly don't have. Uh, that's the only advice I would give you. Uh, frame things nicely, lah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, it also comes with age where where you also uh, a bit more compassionate and you are uh, you understand that words have uh, have, have weight. Uh, yeah, yeah, have yeah, yeah. People, yeah. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I yeah. And, and if you see the things that is happening on TikTok, oh my god, bro! Like the gens don't dark, give uh. chance, bro. They really, yeah. give you raba, bro. Oh. But in a way that is not even like constructive. It's just fucking dark. No, is it? yeah, it's, they just go ah. Like last time, like in secondary school, like whatever you fat fuck ah. It's just, oh, it's just oh, shit. you know. Really? But for you, yeah. TikTok is what you use TikTok. No, I don't. Oh, you don't. I don't. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. yeah, I don't. So then, how do you? How are you aware of that sort of? I mean, I'm on TikTok. I just don't post shit lah. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. I see. So I I read the comments and everything. Yeah, it's. Wow, very bullying, uh, bro. Mm. Yeah, and I mm. get why what is cyberbullying now. Mm. Previously, I don't get it. To mm. me, I'm like, I was that person that says snap out of it. Yeah. You mm. know? But age got to me, I'm like, okay, you know what? Now I understand but why. Did you mm. ever get like whatever negative comments for oh, whatever no. reason or not? No, man. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, so, like, um, my brand is called Nonchalant. My clothing brand is called yeah. Nonchalant. How I came to mm. that brand is because I am Nonchalant. Sure. About a lot of things, bro. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. want to add a like a accent like nonchalant. <laughs> right, no, you know. Uh. Nonchalant. <laughs> nonchalant. <laughs> but yeah, uh, and like I mean a lot of people will agree also, like uh the vibe that I carry is that I'm very nonchalant about mm, things. Mm, uh mm. In which is true. Mm. You know, if it it's easier to say than to be done, right? Yeah. And to me is that if it doesn't doesn't affect me, then I don't care about it. Mm. And mm. and the beauty of it is actually finding peace in everything that you're angry about. Mm. And I feel like that's one way you can be nonchalant. Yeah. You know? Things have, it, 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 uh, for lack of a better phrase, it is what it is. Mm. You know, if people say this kind of thing, then it is what it is. But is it like, do you pick up that from like uh, reading books about stoics, stoics, stoicism or listening to Anthony Robbins or no. Gary V or some... No, eh. I, I got it from talking to my past employers. Mm. And they always say I look like I don't give a fuck. Mm. I'm like, I actually do lah. You uh. know, and it's not I purposely. It's just I don't know. There's this vibe that I carry that I don't give a fuck. Mm. And sometimes I really don't. Mm. But sometimes it's just misunderstood lah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and when people say this kind of things, this kind of comments, I yeah. just be like, ah, okay lah. You know, like you're entitled to your own opinion. Yeah. Like, and if you care about it, you will go down a hole that you know. You will regret lah. Mm. I feel, mm. yeah. And uh, some people f- feel the need to reply them and everything. Yep. And you need to know that once you reply, you open up a whole can of, can of worms. You yeah, need, right, if you right. want to reply, have a solid plan. Correct. Mm. Right. You know, have a share share plan. Correct. Share <laughs> plan. You must back everything up. With yeah. Sources and yeah. Uh, bulletproof WhatsApp, plan. Yeah. yeah. Shots, everything. Yeah. 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 And I feel like whoever like. Like whatever Sasha does, bullet fucking proof. Bulletproof. Yeah. 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 She, so that, she that's the right that. way to answer. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So nonchalant, man. Yeah. And I feel that this is something that I also am. Mm. And I feel like I, it, it, it works for me. Mm. Yeah. So, so on that note, like what, what are some of the things that's coming up in the near future for you or 
Like, where can people go to find out about the stuff you're working on and all? Uh, where yeah. are you most raw and most honest? I yeah. would say YouTube. Uh. On YouTube. I'm oh, probably okay. my stories, like, my Instagram oh, yeah, stories. stories. Okay, okay. And yeah. your handle is what? Like, do drops with a double Z. D E W D R O P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So that's, that's, I guess. I, 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 again, I'm no different you know, on YouTube and Instagram. I feel like I'm the same person. Okay, mm. okay. Yeah, I mean, talking to me right now, do you think I'm the same person or I'm a different person? No, like you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but to, to your credit, yeah, I would say that there's no difference. Lah. Yeah, there's no difference. Mm. I, like, I like your definition of uh, what you thought as an influencer. Lah. That is someone who has sort of leads like those double life like in yeah. front of and behind. No, it's like what in the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like the metaphors. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Because I mean, for people listening, this is the first time we are meeting you in at, at, like in person. We've never met yeah. in person mm. before. Mm. I've only chatted with you on WhatsApp. You're yeah. interacting with Terrence for the first time. Yeah. yeah. And... But I don't think it comes across as like a first time conversation. Mm. And yeah, I think yeah. that's that's good la. That's good. And and well, you put your money where your mouth is la, mm. essentially. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel no. like that's a very like um aggressive uh, phrase. Do you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, in our generation, <laughs> uh, that's how we talk <laughs> now, okay. You cannot deal with it, not my fucking You know, problem. I feel like <laughs> it's a it's an ending uh yeah. like after you like you fight finish, hey, you better put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> <You're okay. laughs> no, but I, I do feel like I've seen sort of. Yeah. I understand where. Uh, I mean, the, the question I have about where where your introspective self came from, and then you know about wanting to your goal about wanting to help people. Mm. And you know, you know, your current role as a. I mean, for lack of a better term, influencer la, Yeah. And getting young people to open up and you know be just be open about any problems or what you have, and then don't be yeah. judgmental about people. Yeah. As a result. And and yeah, I think that's yeah. all it all comes together and it's a very healthy message to mm. to, to people. So yeah. I mean I, I'm not good. in a I don't want to change the market or whatever it is. Mm. And I, I, I have I don't think that influencers should be a certain way. You be whatever yeah. you want. Mm. But in my eyes, how I see it is number one, either you're very relatable, mm. or number two is that you are just good looking, you know? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I'm definitely not the second one. <laughs> I mean, if you compare me and the rest of the girls on this couch, I am, fuck, I am like below average, bro. These girls are above average. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like... But you got personality, what, bro. Personality. Yeah, but people need to know me first. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they first, come into yeah. a room and then they see all these girls, they'll be like, you, you the pimp, or? <laughs> and I say, oh, how much you paying, bro? <laughs> hey, and I say, it happens like... I receive DMs like people asking me, how how are you friends with them? Oh, really? Yeah. Like, yeah, bro. I'm like, so then what's your response? What's your response? Because I'm a nice guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's, that's cyberbullying. Uh, cyberbullying. You really assume that, well, how, can, uh, how can you be friends with like these hot girls and all that, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, people ask me for advice also how to be friends with hot girls. <laughs> <laughs> Another skills future course, bro. Uh, yeah, and I feel yeah. like the advice should be how to be friends with girls. Like, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. you should start with that first. Uh-huh. Like, you know? Don't be an asshole. Like. Don't be an asshole. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, so so you, you were saying people can find you on Instagram and mm. YouTube, YouTube, your show just saying. Yes. You just uh, live and just live also on yeah. the same YouTube channel. On the same YouTube channel. And then what else do you have in the works that you can share that you wanna ah. give, give a shout out to? Uh I am actually starting a, a an unagony type uh show. Mm. Okay, okay, I mean it's just a sub playlist from um just saying. Mm. So on a daily, uh, on a weekly, the girls and me, myself, uh we receive uh, DMs from from people asking yeah. us for advice in terms yeah. of relationships, life, and everything. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, maybe we should bring it on 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 the show, lah. Mm. Yeah. So currently now, just saying is a bit long form, like fifteen yeah. minutes. I mean, yours is definitely longer. Mm. But for YouTube, fifteen minutes is quite long. Yeah. 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 Right. So uh, we we want to th- uh I want to get audience ret- retention higher. So I yeah. I thought of creating a show that is. A little bit shorter, shorter. and mm. more audience interaction. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, so it's called us asking for a friend mm. bracket ask for friends, which mm. is the four of us. So what we do is that we take um situations or questions from the audience, and yeah. then we we give our opinion on it. Uh, so for yeah, example, yeah. it can be like, oh, my boyfriend uh has a weird fetish. How do I be okay with it? Mm. And then we can just give our own opinion, lah. You know, yeah, yeah, or like, yeah. oh, I have no studies. What should I do? Yeah. So it's it's more of that. Okay. So it's in a way audience uh interaction without the audience being there. Mm. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. So, so like so you, you are really replacing the Aunt Agony, those you know those columns that used to be in those magazines yes. last time, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. And I feel like 
we are okay. I wouldn't want to say we are allowed to do that. We, and I feel, uh, I feel like we can do that because of what we have been doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are in a way relatable and everything. Yeah. People, I, people are coming to us for advice, lah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, lah. Why well, just put this on on screen, lah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if it and eight minutes, eight to ten minutes maximum, I'll go. Yeah. 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 And then just like you know. It's blah, 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 fast, fast content lah. Mm. Yeah, mm. and it makes business sense also lah. Yeah, I right. can't be selling just saying fifteen minute, twenty minute content to to all clients. Yeah. Some clients just want really fast stuff. Yeah, so it's this in agency guard uh, jargons is called a social snack. Social mm. snack. Uh, uh, social uh, and when one. when is that coming out? The first in March actually. Oh, in March, okay. Or okay. oh, depends on when Muna can make it for filming. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, what's more exciting is actually it's a uh, it's gonna be live. Uh, yeah. Oh, so, okay. uh, I recently just signed a, a contract with uh Twitch. So mm. Twitch want us to do. They actually want us to do just saying live. Yeah. But a bit dangerous. Mm. So we were like, I'm like, oh, I have this new segment. We want to do it live. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we're gonna do that live and then upload it on YouTube after that, lah. I see. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's cool. And and to get updates, you should follow your Instagram or something, lah. Yeah, I, I, I guess. I mean, okay. I'm still in the process of. Uh, I have to do so many things, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah live yeah. streaming is something new for me. So like all, all of this, I need to get this. Mm. I need to get cameras. I need mm. to learn how to use OBS and shit like that. Yeah. Because mm. it's on Twitch and Twitch is a whole fucking different market. Bro. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. game. Uh, the game is to get. Okay, I do what. <laughs> might be wrong to say, but in my head, the game is to get donations. Mm. You mm. know, and subscribers, and and because you are paid. Yeah. By subscribers. It's a whole different ball game than YouTube, no, bro. Yeah, yeah. YouTube, you one million subscribers yeah. then doesn't mean that. Yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. But this correct. is like, the, and they feel much more ownership over what you're doing, lah, right? Yeah, yeah and yeah, and yeah. it's more rather than they are watching you, they are actually with you with because you, there's yeah. chat. Mm, yeah, yeah, and then you have to interact with the chat also. Yeah, yeah basically talking to the audience that is not there, lah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not physically yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole different ball game. Uh. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, they can get updates from following me. Okay, yeah, okay. and then I will tell them where to send in their questions. Yeah, yeah whatever lah. Yeah, and we'll try to answer them all, man. Mm. Yeah, because we're nice people. Yeah, we'll make cool, sure to yeah. send in our questions also. <laughs> yeah, the ones that I've been waiting my whole life to ask. Yeah. Them. <laughs> yeah. uh, Harish will ask, uh, Jade, how are you so efficient in giving <laughs> <lives?"> <laughs> I mean, like zero to hundred. In like ten minutes, just like and yeah, I was yeah. watching it also. I was like, that's that's hilarious, lah. Yeah. And the fact that you guys found out while on the show, I mean, mm. uh, yeah, lah. That that's 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 what makes the show. Yeah, and I was drinking show, her water, uh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I gave the husband a blowjob, also. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he just tasted. He just tasted. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So so yeah. on that note. <laughs> on that note, yeah. Now we we just wrap up this thing with the the final segment called the one shock thing Yeah. Okay. Um. So we gave you the brief at the start of this podcast. Yeah. Mm. So we give you a few minutes to think. Uh, mm. Um. And and yeah. So so Terence, what is your one shock thing? I mean, very uh dead kind of one shock thing uh. But I mean, the, at the same time, I I saw a lot of people who are not dead there as well. I brought my kid to the hay dairies, goat farm mm. over the weekend. And uh, but yeah, there's a goat farm in Singapore. It's free entry. Oh, I never knew that. <laughs> yeah, I never knew that. It's, it's free like entry. So fuck free do you entry. do that? But you, you go there goat. and you buy like hay to feed goats. Mm. And I mean, it's a whole row of goats. Huh? Yeah. Uh, and I see a lot of young people there going for mm. dates. They're going there as like second or third date. I don't think first date can because it's very hot. It's very smelly. Mm. Then you just go there. Very you, mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> feed, feed goats and, and just They're like, sheep, bro. Uh, bro, oh, same, same. Uh, same, uh, same, same, yeah. Same, yeah. Same, yeah. Oh, you don't okay. know your animals. Then after that, yeah. eat soap too long, bro. No, no. After that, got goat milk. Goat milk. You can buy goat milk and sit there and drink goat milk. Oh, but really? it's all the way in Lim Chukang, lah. So to, you must find a way to get there first. You have to uh, go past the date before first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, through the past the cemeteries, everything. <laughs> but actually, I mean, so wait, what COVID, do they do with these goats? Uh, milk, lah. They milk the goats. So you oh, can to make them. milk, lah. Yeah, 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 they sell oh, the. Milk. But you don't milk the goats, lah. No, you don't get to lah. I thought they they, they are yeah. selling the goats. Maybe oh, yeah. they do the meat. Eventually, yeah. eventually they do, but mostly now it's just about milking the goats. Huh? So oh. it, I mean, it's. I think the last time I went was like primary school. Then I I never thought of it since. But now I go back. I'm like, hey, actually, if you are like really bored in Singapore, you wanna go on a goat date, farm? Huh? Go to the goat farm. Yeah. What? Free entry. So Free so, entry. dude, when we mm. come to office, I ask Terrence what's his weekend. He's like, yeah, I went to goat farm. You know, yours is like, hey, dude, fuck <laughs> this one and this one. No, no, Bro, that one last one. Had a nice night with a girl. Correct, correct, yeah. correct. Yeah, correct. I had, yeah. a nice time at the had a farm. nice time. Yeah, <laughs> had a nice time at the goat <laughs> nice farm. Nice time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my one shock thing. Yeah. Uh, my one shock thing is 
I recently started re-listening to this Singapore band that was active, I think, 10 years ago, called I Am David Sparkle. Have mm. you all heard of this band? No. It's, I don't know, it was it on, like on my Keith playlist. Central show, bro. No, it's a, it's a band of, I think, four or five, and they play just instrumental, guitar, bass, drums, mm. but no vocals. Mm. And the music is, is fucking cool. It's super chill. It's quite um, uh, almost relaxing. It's like rock without the vocals. And yeah, they are Singapore band. And you can find them on Spotify and all. Well, yeah, how do you I, come across them? Because uh, I think about 10 years ago, one of my seniors from school was the producer of a documentary about them. Oh. And he invited me to the screening. Got it. So I saw the screening. I started listening to the music. I was like, hey, shit, this dope is, the, the shit is dope. And every this once in a while. The screening. No, 10 years ago. Oh, 10 years ago. But every once in a while, I would just go back to their tracks and I'm like, oh shit, this is this is cool shit, man. But they're not doing it anymore. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So so, so I'm, I'm yeah. David Sparkle, cool shit lah. Ah. Yeah. Okay, uh, to be honest, yeah. I didn't I didn't think it was supposed to be an activity. Mm. <laughs> can be anything, can, can be, be anything. anything. Okay, but I mean, since you guys are on that note, I would say uh recently I went to a jewelry making class. Oh, mm. is it? Mm. Mm. It's at Ballester. It's called yeah. Fat Anvil. It's quite interesting. I mean, you only have 2 hours, so you can't okay. be fucking like, you know, whatever about it. Uh so you can either make rings oh. or necklaces. Okay. Yeah, so you can also make an engagement ring there. Or a wedding ring, so you just customize everything. Oh, really? Yeah. But as in, you you participate in the making of it, is it? I mean, you book a workshop. Oh, you book a workshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, then... What, what do you do? As in the carving or... Yes, so you... you, you Bro, you... Everything, ah, bro. Everything. Yeah, they just give you a piece of metal. Mm. So let's say you say, okay, I want to make a ring. Yeah. Then they give you... You say your ring size, and then they give you a piece of metal that's circle. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, okay, then you, you tell them like, what, what kind of designs if you want. Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay, you tell them your designs first and then if they, you need a thicker metal, they will give you a thicker metal. Nice, nice. And then you do everything yourself, bro. My hand fucking pain, bro. <laughs> you have to like fucking cut the... But you, what do you get out of it? You uh, got a... Whatever lah. Uh, Whatever you, you make lah. But you there's someone teaching it. you also lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, there's someone okay. teaching you. <laughs> they just throw you the metal yeah. and then you do <laughs> no, yourself. What do you personally get out of it? A ring or, or something... Oh, I, I I did a necklace. Oh, oh a necklace. I did a necklace, yeah. But oh, I didn't shit. I didn't manage to finish it on time lah. Mm. It came out like a fucking scrapbook. Uh, shit mm, la. mm, Yeah, yeah. So but Was this a date or what was it? Was it? Uh, it was so, a yeah, I, I would like maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, maybe okay. Yeah, yeah. I it's in like we were like, okay, let's do something. Mm. Let's do an activity la. Yeah. So mm. I'm I'm gonna try tough thing next. Have you guys tried? No. Tough. Thing. Okay, so is this thing called Singapore Tough T U F T? Um okay, I yeah. think it's called a tough shop. Yeah. You go there and make carpet. Ah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Really? But so expensive. What, is the, word, what is the word tough thing? T-U-F-T. Uh-huh. I-N-G. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then you go there and make carpet. Oh, really? Fucking dope, right? Mm. Then you get to go home with the free carpet. Lah. So, I mean, like, the entire experience is 200 per person. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you just book and then, like, you literally make the carpet, bro. Like, the... Oh. Yeah, uh-huh. but uh, you can choose any design you want. Lah. So, I think, I guess you Google it. Yeah. And yeah. then they will just print a... Whatever a, a stencil, and yeah. You do oh, you can come. Wow. You can send them your own design. Yeah, bro. It's a workshop. So okay, mm. and you know, they will print the stencil based on your design, and then yes. you make a carpet out of your design. Yes, a rug lah. Maybe oh, like really this cool. big of a rug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Quite cool, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going. I'm doing that this Saturday. Mm. Yeah. Also, also a date or what? Ah, it's a oh let's do something interesting oh that's creative uh, <laughs> yeah <this>. man <laughs> like, bro, you, have normal Google, people. <laughs> you have Google for that shit like, bro. just yeah, Google yeah, 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 interesting yeah. dates in Singapore uh, mm, so that's yeah. how you came across oh good question I think so yeah oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that is interesting so I mean even the jewellery making workshop that was like how many hours two hours, two hours. Two this hours, one is four yeah. hours oh. wow yeah. so to make one carpet four yeah, hours yeah, yeah. of yeah. Uh, one meter carpet Imagine mm. a fucking five meter carpet. So you got your design all sorted out already? No, I haven't thought about it. Uh, I like to go. I like to do when it comes to this kind of things. I like to be last minute. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I if I feel like if I put too much thought into it, uh, and then uh, so you say these kind of things mean what? Like creative things or uh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, so like for yeah, example, yeah. my clothing label. Yeah. Uh, I realized that when I now I'm designing my second collection, I realized if I put too much thought into it, mm. it will come out ugly. So oh, I have to really? do it like that. That's yeah, what I imagine, uh? I will yeah. straight open open my laptop. Either I I do something, I like draw it out, or whatever, mm. and I do it on the spot, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is interesting because that's one thing that I've also realized over time that creativity sometimes when you squeeze it and put mm. as many constraints as possible, you're forced to be creative, la. Yeah, 
I feel like mm. what people don't understand is that creativity is always about the brain fart, right? Mm, so it was, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's always the aha moment. Mm-hmm. The mm. aha moments are always the ones that yeah. will, will, make, will, will, will make it. Uh. Mm. But it's a lot of the work you do around the aha moment. Yes, it will take you very long yeah, to get yeah, to yeah. the aha correct, moment. Correct. Yeah. yeah, It's like Just, when people ask about like how we prepare for a podcast and kind of thing, I can't say I sit down and I start reading, you know, like half mm. an hour or an hour before. But we are just always reading around it, and then such that when it comes time to record, we actually okay. We I think we I got something to say already, la. Yeah, because I mean we do the three that, episodes yeah. a week on news and stuff. Yeah. We do research beforehand, but it helps that generally we try to read about news, la. Mm. And 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 like what you said, a brain fart. Mm. I mean, even your own body, you don't have farts without eating food, la, right? <laughs> yeah, you have to eat right. a lot. Of food. Yeah, you have, to, yes. you have to eat a lot of food. Certain types of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, but news now a lot, a lot of good things to cover, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. cover. Yeah. To right. later uh, two days time, I will record our next episode. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. WP, I will. Oh yeah, right yeah, yeah. center. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Today, yeah. can I want uh, what Apple scam, right? Someone got an Apple scam. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 correct, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Phone, the phone, the phone. Yeah, correct, correct. <laughs> Uh, it's non stop. Yeah, stop. Yeah. So that one, that, that new cycle, when it happens, there's a lot to talk about. Talk yeah. about like. But mm. some days, bro, got nothing to talk about. No? Yeah, some days. Yeah, some days got nothing to uh, talk about. But we still put out an episode because like, yeah. you kind of have to keep that consistency. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess it's uh, what I'm feeling today. Yeah. Mm. Let's just talk about it. Yeah. 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 But cool, man. Dude, cool, cool. thanks so much. It's been awesome chatting with you. Yeah. Hey. Thank you for uh, being so raw and honest. Yeah. yeah. So. Thank you for having me. All the man. best with your yeah. dreams, bro. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Yeah, I still don't know, bro. Uh, help, help, <laughs> yeah. people, help, help people. Help people. Help people. You're helping already. You're helping already. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so, bro. I hope so, man. Yeah. 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 Cheers, man. All right. Thanks, Thanks. so much Thanks for, for coming. Thanks, everyone, for listening. And talk to you all soon.